Hello, I'd like to say a few words on the subject of tea quality. I'm often asked, this is by way of introduction, I'm often asked why coffee is so much more popular out of the home than tea. It's very, very simple. It's better. Cafes all too often you serve terrible, terrible quality tea. Big tea companies, you worry that sales of tea are declining, and they are. Sales of traditional English style tea, what I've got in here right now, are declining. But sales of speciality tea are increasing, and sales of herbal tea are increasing in, in the supermarkets. Talking of the supermarkets, let's look at what's happening there in the traditional English tea category, the everyday tea category. Think of a brand that has advanced greatly in the last 10 years, Yorkshire Tea. Think of a brand that has declined over the same period, Twinings. What's the difference? One has maintained its quality and the other has not. The brand that has made the most progress in the supermarkets in the last decade is also one of the higher priced, better quality brands that has a, a good, strong, rich, full flavoured tea, which I have always said is the style that is most popular in Britain. People are not stupid. Look, consumers are not nearly as stupid as you supermarkets and you tea brands believe. Give them some credit. I find every week someone will come in and say, has such and such a brand changed? Have you changed this or that? People notice really quickly. When you save a little bit of money by buying tea a little bit cheaper, um, I'm talking here to the tea packing companies, when you are, una are unable to buy the, the tea that you want and you end up with something less, people notice. Someone said to me the other day that the supermarkets regard tea quality as a race to the bottom. A race to the bottom, i.e. who can produce the cheapest tea and the best offers, the best discounts. Yes, it is. If the average consumer goes and sees their favourite brand at a reduced price, they're going to buy it. They're going to pay less for the same thing than they can pay somewhere else. Of course they are. But that's because they trust that it is the same thing. When they see brand X or brand Y, they assume they trust you. Because they trust you, they assume it's going to be the same as it was last week and the week before and the week before. If it's not, you will lose that trust very, very quickly and it won't come back if there's somebody else who's, who's producing better quality. So shops, cafes, trust your consumers and buy a good quality product. If you do so, you will reverse the decline in tea sales, you will reverse the decline in out of home tea drinking and you will have happier customers. Cafes, if you are spending five pounds on 1100 tea bags in the cash and carry, don't be surprised if tea lovers fail to flock to your door. Spend a little bit more money, a little bit, a tiny bit more per cup of tea, um, particularly in relation to the, the profit margin on that cup of tea, and you will find people beating a path to your door. So that's my thoughts on the subject of tea and quality. Trust your consumer, provide a good product, and you will have no problems whatsoever um, in having a good business. Okay, any questions, obviously, please uh, contact me. Um, you can telephone me, contact me um, in the comments below, uh, and I'd be very, very interested to hear from you if you've got any questions. Thank you.